hand hygiene. I'm gonna put on my gloves. <laughs> sounds are regular. I hear S1 and S2, and I don't hear any heart murmurs or any irregular sounds. Um, so are you having any chest pain right now? No. No? Okay. Um, are you having any uh, difficulty breathing? No. Shortness of breath? No. Okay. And I see that um, she's not using any accessory muscles to breathe. Um, her chest expansion is symmetrical, and I see that her breathing is um, regular and like it's not deep or shallow. Um, so now I'm going to be listening. Or are you feeling dizzy? No. Okay. So I'm going to be listening to her lung sound. Okay, 
so her vowel sounds are present, they sound regular. And then I'm just going to inspect her abdomen. I would have pulled up her shirt for this. I'm inspecting her abdomen. And I don't see any um, any lumps or discoloration or any distension. So I'm just going to palpate her abdomen. Um, I don't see any um, any discoloration at all. Okay, so I'm going to have you sit back up. And her, um, her abdomen is soft, it's not tender. Did you feel any pain while I was palpating? No. Okay, so her abdomen is soft. Okay, so now I'm going to be um, looking at your upper extremities. So if you put your hands out, I'm going to be testing um, for CSM. So I'm going to check the vocabulary and use those. Okay, so her vocabulary refill is less than three seconds. So she's beginning proper circulation. So now I'm going to look at. Um, she has any edema in her arms. And then are you feeling any numbness or tingling in your hands? No, okay, so no numbness yeah. or tingling. I'm just going to listen to her radial pulses. Okay, so they feel regular and they're plus three. And then um, I don't see any IVs in her arms, but if there was an IV, then I would check um, the surrounding skin and make sure that there's no um, redness or irritation. And I would check... Um, the rate and solution of her uh, IV if there was one. And then now I'm going to have you, um, can you grip my hands? Are you good? Can you pull? Perfect. And then can you push? Good. Okay. And then are you feeling any weakness in your arms? Yeah. Okay, great. So now I'm going to be looking at her lower extremities. So I would take her socks off. Um, so I'm going to be testing for CSM in her toenails. Okay. And her cap refill is less than three seconds. So that's good. I'm going to be testing, um, or I'm going to be feeling her dorsal pedal pulses. And they are regular and plus three. And then I'm just going to be checking her feet and legs for any edema. I don't see any edema. That's good. And then I'm going to be, um, so can you, uh, uh, can you pull your, or flex your feet? Perfect. And then can you push? <laughs> Great. Are you feeling any numbness or tingling in your feet? Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to be looking at her skin. So um, I see that her skin is, uh, oh, I see uh, her feet are warm and they're equal, they're equal warm. Um, and her, the rest of her skin is warm, dry, and intact. I don't see any discoloration at all. So I'm going to be checking um, her bony prominences for any ulcers or injuries. So I'm checking her heels. Her heels look good. I'm checking her knees. And then I'm going to check her elbows, no ulcers. And then can you lean forward? And then can you look down? Checking the back of her neck, I don't see anything. Checking her coccyx. And then I'm going to check both of her hips. I don't see any wounds, but if she did have a wound, then I would, um, I would document the location of the wound. I would document the measurement of the wounds, the length, width, and depth. Um, and I would um, notice any drainage or any kind of erythema, like redness around it. Um, and I would also look at the wound bed percentage. Um, okay, so now I'm going to have you do some range of motion. So I'm going to be testing her musculoskeletal system. So can you raise both arms above your head? And then can you rotate them? Okay, so arms look good. You can relax. And then can you um, lift both of your legs? Perfect. And then I don't see any um, joint deformities. Can you like straighten your arms and legs? So her joints look good. Okay. And then um, can I have you stand up? Okay. Any dizziness? Yeah. Good. Okay. And then can you walk towards me a couple steps? Okay. So her gait looks good. All right. You can um, get back in bed. Great. And then are you using um, any assistive, assistive devices at home? Yeah. Okay. So you're independent of walking. Um, are you feeling any pain right now? Uh, yes. Yes? Um, where is your pain? Uh, left arm, like left forearm? Yes. Okay. And um, is that pain, is it localized, like staying there, or is it radiating, radiating to any other part yeah. of the body? It's just right here. Okay. And then um, what is the quality of the pain? Is it dull, throbbing, sharp? Achy. Achy, okay. And then um, is it constant, or is it intermittent? Uh, it's just constant. Constant? Okay. Does anything make it worse? 
and what, what makes it better? Not really. It's not really. It's not a thing. Okay. Um, and then, um, what, uh, does it interfere with any of your activities of daily life? No. Uh, okay, good. And then if you had to rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain and 0 being no pain, where would you rate it? A 4. A 4? Okay. Alright, so, um, what kind of support do you have to help you? Uh, I need support. Okay. Oh, and for pain, I would ask, uh, do you have any associated with symptoms? No. Okay. So you have good support at home? Do you have, like, a family member? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, do you have any religious or cultural beliefs that could prevent you from getting primary care? No. Okay. Um, do you have any anxiety or depression? No. Okay. And then, do you have any concerns with the family? No. Okay, great. Alright, so, um, have a good day. Here's your call light. I would open up a privacy curtain.